Ready to come explore one of Tampa Bay's hidden gems with us? Come with us as we explore downtown Dunedin, this quaint coastal town hidden in Tampa Bay. Let's go see if we can dig it. Let's go. Just a little fact, Dunedin is actually the sister city to Stirling, Scotland. And right behind us is actually the Scottish American Society. And they do a lot of Scottish festivals and themed events here in Dunedin. Again, like I said, sister city being Stirling, Scotland. So just an interesting little fact for y'all. Really cool. So like we were saying, Dunedin was founded by two Scottish merchants, John Douglas and James Somerville, both from Scotland. They came to the area and when they petitioned for the post office, they named it Dunedin which in Gaelic is Dun Eden after their hometown of Edinburgh, Scotland. Now, in another interesting fact here, in 1964 as well as 2000, Dun Eden signed a sister city agreement with both Stirling, Scotland, as well as Summerside, Prince Edward Island, Canada, both to help preserve the Scottish heritage. Here's the coat of arms as well as the tartan for the city of Dun Eden. And we're going to make our way to one of the places we definitely check out at least a few times a year. All right, one of our favorite places here in Dunedin is called the Hanu. It's a tiki bar and Hawaiian themed restaurant. We frequent here a couple times a year, especially yep. for their Sippin' Santa Holiday Bar. And they're also known for their rum tasting. It's a really cool place if you're down in Dunedin, check it out. Yeah, it's really cool. They have a lot of authentic dishes, poo-poo platters. Just a really, uh, what you would expect from a little tiki bar. So it's a great little place, check it out. Highly recommend. So the patio here at the Hanu is really neat. Like Ryan was saying, they come here for the Sip and Santa uh, every year and they decorate the whole patio in a Christmas theme. So it's really cool. It's kind of like Hawaii at Christmas time. Now here's a look at the drink menu. As you can see, everything's really tiki themed. That's pretty cool as well. So we're gonna take a peek inside and they have a really cool feature inside, which is their rum bar. So we're gonna step inside and show you what that's all about. So when you walk in, you can immediately see it's very tiki themed. They have all the little tiki mugs you can take, the turtles on the wall. And this is the really neat feature here is the rum bar. Now I would suggest making a reservation call ahead of time. They do rum flights. They have what's called a rum passport. So again, a really cool, neat experience. Only one that I know in the area, but definitely make sure you call ahead to make sure they'll be able to get you in. And they are doing the tastings that day now we were down here kind of early on a weekday so there was nobody really here but this place does pack up real fast during the weekend and at night time And again, like I said, they have all these really cool little mugs and tiki shot glasses you can take home with you. That's the Hanu. It's a great place. Really authentic tiki bar. Check it out. Now we're going to head back down to downtown. You can see they have this really cool little old school barber shop here. And there's a couple shops here. There's a cookie shop and a hot dog place. Before we get to Main Street... And that's where we're really going to start the tour of downtown Dunedin and all the different things that are down here for you to see. But before you do make it to Main Street, you have a cookie place here on the left as well as a hot dog place. So let's take a peek in here and see what's happening. And you can see here they're priced really reasonably and you know the best part about supporting 
an establishment like this is you're really helping small town America and a small business really be able to thrive and stay in the community. And I think it's really worth mentioning again why it's so important to support a downtown community like Dunedin. You know, there's a lot of artisans down here, a lot of small business owners, a lot of people, again, just trying to live the American dream and work for themselves and not be in the nine to five grind. So again, super important to come down and support communities like Dunedin. So here we are at Main Street. This is the heart of Dunedin. This is where everything really starts to happen. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here and show you one of the first places. And this is another staple here in Dunedin. All right, here we are. This is the living room. They have two locations, one in Wesley Chapel and one down here in Dunedin. This is the original one. It's been here forever. Absolutely fantastic food, reasonably priced, and mm -hmm. also great drinks. Yeah, craft cocktails, local chef. The food is just delicious. You have to check it out. Yeah, here. it's definitely worth checking it out if you're down here. Two thumbs up. So the living room again, a really great atmosphere, great food, reasonably priced, really inviting. And like I said earlier, we were here on a weekday, so it's not too crowded, but evening times and weekends, it really packs in here real fast. And you can see here's just a sampling of their menus. On the left are some appetizers, on the right, some of their small plates. Really again, something here for everyone, and everything is really reasonably priced. And let's not forget their drink menu. Now, this drink menu goes on and on and on. If there's not a drink on here for you, then you may not be thirsty. But, yeah, every drink I've ever had here has always been spot on as well. And that is the living room. Again, they have two locations. Definitely check it out. And when you make your way outside, the really cool thing is the city has all of these maps throughout downtown. that kind of have a map of where you're at all the local shops, how to get there, and it really points out all the places of interest. And as you can see here, I mean, it goes on and on and on. There's something for everyone, all kinds of shops, food, breweries. It's really awesome, Dunedin. So we're gonna go ahead and continue our walk down here. And our next stop is going to be our first delicious snack of the day, and it is at the Dunedin Smokehouse. Now, Dunedin Smokehouse has outside and inside seating as well, and as you can see, they have the TVs here with the sports happening. And again, just a reminder, we were here during the week, so it wasn't too crowded, but this place definitely packs up on the weekends, and especially if there's a game on, whether it be hockey, football, but always busy, great staple, awesome barbecue, friendly atmosphere, local owners can't go wrong. All right, so we stopped at the Dunedin Smokehouse, which has been here forever. It's a yeah. staple in Dunedin. They're the winner of the best ribs for 2020 and 2022, and the best barbecue of 2021. So we got the first yeah, routine, and we'll see what it's all about. Yeah, absolutely, cheers. Now, I also need to mention that there were 2023's Best of the Bay Barbecue once again. So cheers to y'all for that. Now their menu is really extensive. What you would expect from a great barbecue establishment. They have everything down to delicious pecan pie, chopped brisket, chopped pork, turkey, chicken. And they definitely show off all their awards down there at the bottom of their menu. And we ordered the brisket poutine. This was to die for. Let's get into it and tell you what we thought about it. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try and see if it's good. Ooh, look at that cheese and look at that steam. Mm -hmm. Delicious brisket poutine. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Come on. The brisket's fresh. That cheese brisket smells perfectly. Is melt in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Wow. It really tastes the cheese curds in there too. Two thumbs up. Yeah, definitely great. Man, just looking at that and reminiscing about that brisket poutine brings a tear to my eye. It was definitely good. And that is the Dunedin Smokehouse. They have a lot of great barbecue. Been here forever. Definitely check it out. Now, the next stop on our tour is Flanagan's. This is an Irish pub. They're right next door to the Smokehouse. And this is another great, authentic Irish pub here in Dunedin. And again, not too busy today, but St. Patrick's Day. 
you can't even get in the door here. Trust me, we've been here for many a St. Patrick's Day, and it fills up, and it fills up fast. They have everything you could want from the traditional Guinness, Harp. They have a full liquor bar. Really cool, authentic Irish feel. Definitely check it out when you're down here in Dunedin. So again, this is Flanagan's Great Irish Pub. Now we're going to go across the street to Pioneer Park. All right, so here we are at Pioneer Park in downtown Dunedin. Great little park for picnics, get-togethers. I know they do a lot in this park throughout the course of the year, too. Yeah, they do their St. Patrick's Day uh, festival here. They do their Scottish festival here. They have live music on the weekends. And Saturday and Sundays here are just people roaming around, restaurant to bar, having a good time. There's lots of people in the park. Yeah. This is where they hang out. Yeah, definitely. Just a place to even come if you work down here to sit and have your lunch. We've seen a couple of people just kind of enjoying the park on yeah. their lunch break. So definitely is a peaceful place to check out. The heart of downtown Dunedin. Absolutely. It's a uh, Pioneer Park. So Pioneer Park, really cool. They hold a lot of the festivities here in the park. St. Patrick's Day, they hold a lot of the festivities here. They also do some of the Scottish Highland Games as well as Cinco de Mayo. Speaking of Cinco de Mayo festivities and celebrations, we're going to go ahead and cross the street to another one of our favorites, Casa Tina. We're going to tell you a little bit more about it and what to expect if you want to check it out. Definitely authentic. It's been here forever as well, and it's a staple here in Dunedin. All right, this is Casa Tina, and this is one of the best, most authentic restaurants in the area. Yeah. This is a five-star place. It's very authentic. They even at night have women that do the aerial dancing from the ceiling. Yeah, definitely. It's really an experience. Check it out if you're down here. You can't go wrong. We've been coming here for years. Got to check out Casa Tina. Yeah, definitely. Like we said, if you're down here in Dunedin and want an authentic Spanish cuisine, come check out Casa Tina. And again, great entertainment. It's just really family fun all the way around. Can't go wrong. And not to mention, y'all, they've been here 30 years. So they got to be doing something right. Now, right outside of Casatina, you have the Dunedin History Museum. This is what it looked like back in the 70s. And you can see the little town's come quite a long way since the 70s. And if you'd like to support the museum, here's all the information. It's fairly reasonable to go in there and check it out and really learn the history of the city of Dunedin. Next, we're going to show you a little video of the downtown Dunedin Market. Now, the downtown Dunedin Market is really cool. They hold that over in Pioneer Park, the park that me and Ryan were just there talking about, where they hold a lot of the festivities throughout the year. But one of the main things they hold there is the market. Now, this market is held every Saturday and Sunday. Now, it does only run through, I believe, June, because it does get really hot down here, if you all aren't familiar with Florida. It gets real warm down here during the summertime, so they kind of put it on hiatus for a couple months. But definitely check it out. Check out their website, tampabaymarkets.com, to learn more about the market and the times and the dates for the downtown Dunedin market. So we're going to take a walk back out here to Main Street. Just saw that mural right there on the wall. It's pretty cool. I'm going to walk back out here and show you a couple other staples that have been in the Dunedin area for years now. These two restaurants I'm going to show you. One's a restaurant and pub. And the other one is just a restaurant. But these have been here for a long time. The first is going to be the Crown and Bull. Now the Crown and Bull has been in Dunedin for, like I said, 30 years now. It's owned by a couple brothers, the Falzone brothers. They just renovated it a couple years back. They have an awesome outside area, really vibrant inside, great lighting. It's a really cool place, so definitely check it out. And then the Black Pearl. The Black Pearl is more of a fine dining establishment. They've been here in the area since 1996. So as you can see, the theme here in Dunedin is a lot of these places have really been here for a long time. And that says a lot for the community support as well as you know how good they really are. Now you walk down a little further, you could miss this, but there are some more shops here to the left. And this is called the West End Shops. And they have an ice cream shop down here, some other small shops. So don't pass this by. Definitely make sure as you're getting towards the end of Main Street, you look off to your left and you'll see these shops back here.
And as we cross over the street here, you'll see there's a lot of places still under construction coming soon. We have a coffee spot here. There was an Italian restaurant, which you'll see has some fantastic outdoor seating. But yeah, there's just so much still coming to the city here. There's places that aren't open yet, still in the build-out phase, but it's really exciting to continue to see the progress and to continue to see this community thrive and grow. And a really cool thing about the city of Dunedin is the city of Dunedin is a very veteran-friendly city. I'm going to step out here into the street and show you what is called the Defending Freedom Arch. And this is to honor all of the men and women who have served in the United States Armed Forces that are from the city of Dunedin. And I think it's a really great tribute and a thank you to all of our veterans. And you'll see, again, Dunedin is a very veteran-friendly city. As next, I will show you the Purple Heart Park, which is located at 300 Main Street. And this is a dedication to all of our men and women who have made sacrifices and received the Purple Heart as combat veterans in our United States military. Now we're going to move on to Douglas Avenue. And Douglas is a pretty neat street with a lot of different restaurants, bars, seafood markets. This is going to be the main street that's going to take you to all of the Dunedin breweries are. And I'm going to put up a quick little map here of all the breweries that are in the city of Dunedin. And you can see just how walkable it really is to be able to hit up all of these places and not even have to get in your car and drive. So that's a really cool thing about the city of Dunedin too. Everything is within walking distance. This is one of the seafood houses here on the walk up to one of our favorite breweries, the Dunedin Brewery. This is Jensen Brothers Seafood, and they have all the seafood that comes in locally every day. All right, finally, we have made it to the Dunedin Brewing. Now, Dunedin Brewing is a fantastic brewery. We absolutely love this place. We've been coming here longer than I can count on my two hands. I'll tell you more about that when we get outside. But you can see here, it is a craft brewery. They were the original microbrewery here in Florida. And it is the same spot that it's been now for 30 years. Really great inside. They have live entertainment. They brew all of their beers right here in-house. Plenty of indoor seating, great bar food and snacks. They have this really cool outside area. Uh, let's go ahead and keep Dunedin weird. I know that's an Austin thing, but we're bringing it here to Dunedin. And again, just a really cool atmosphere. You can sit outside, enjoy the weather just like we did. We're going to tell you a little bit more about it here. Hey y'all, cheers. Well, we're here at one of our favorite breweries here in Dunedin. It's the Dunedin Brewery. And it's been here for years. We've been coming here for so long, I can't even count the years on two hands. <laughs> but they also have great beer. It's sold all throughout the state. You might even have it in your area. We're they trying make... the uh, apricot brew that they have on tap, which is one of their specialties. Yeah, they make everything from apricot to Hefeweizen to Stouts. They do a huge Oktoberfest celebration here too, with these huge big steins they sell that you can get filmed all year long. Yeah, definitely. Also have delicious breweries snacks like these fried pickles which oh, we're gonna man. dive into definitely let's try them here and see what they're all about all right i know they're gonna be good yep mm. everything you want from a fried pickle and more two thumbs up then eating brewery check it out so I'm going to go ahead and put up a little bit more history on the Dunedin Brewery and what it's about, where they came from, and the impact that they've really had on the microbrewing industry here in Florida. So, hope you enjoy it. I know we definitely enjoy coming here. Never a letdown again. It's really got that authentic brewery feel. I mean, after almost 30 years, you can't fake that feeling. And the cool thing is they're always rotating their taps. The beers are always changing. They're always experimenting. But the one staple is that apricot peach 
man, that's one that is always on tap and is delicious. And you can see here they even put up a little disclaimer I'm going to throw up here that, hey, listen, guys, we don't put up a beer menu. We're constantly changing stuff out, so belly on up to the bar, come check it out. That's how you're going to know what's on tap. So, again, really great place. Dunedin Brewery, definitely check it out. Now, I wanted to show you all this place. This is called Dunedin Woodwright. And they weren't open yet. They were closed. Like I said, we were down here fairly early. They weren't open yet. But they're another draft house, and they have great food. But I just love the feel. It almost reminds you of something maybe out of, like, a Jaws movie. It just really has that old-school New England feel to it. And it's a really cool place. And it's right at the end of Douglas Ave. And then right across the street from there is the Institute for Creative Arts, which is pretty cool. It's my first time actually noticing it, to be honest with y'all. But it is kind of like an artisan craft shop, and it is open to the public. And there's a couple gift shops in there as well that sell some artisan gifts. So definitely go in there and check it out. They have a metal workshop in there, as you can see. Uh, some other places, a jewelry place. So again, definitely check it out. Well, y'all, that is the city of Dunedin. We absolutely love coming down here. We hope y'all loved watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it. And if you want to see more content like this, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps our channel grow. Cheers, and we'll catch up with y'all soon.